Good morning, folks. We've got an interesting bit of science today, a big earthquake, some solar flares, a look at sunspots, and the CME impact from last night that triggered a geomagnetic storm that nearly reached level 3. Let's start with the last 24 hours on the sun, and we find several small surges at the active regions surrounding those smaller coronal holes. We had two M-class solar flares the last 24 hours. We'll take a look at the larger one here in a moment. But let's go to the space weather story that unfolded here at Earth overnight. The CME expected to impact did so, and it was a moderate to strong impact with magnetic characteristics that caused it to couple strongly with Earth's magnetic field. Moderate density, fairly fast speed, and it triggered a geomagnetic storm that peaked just below the level 3 range, just below a KP7 event. That's below where we expect major effects on technology, but we should be seeing minor ones as that energy continues descending through the ionospheric and atmospheric layers today. The top event up at the sun was an M-class flare this morning that erupted from one of the incoming sunspots. Luckily it was impulsive, no CME released, and as the departing sunspots begin to turn away from the earth, that one incoming on the left side will be the primary focus today, tomorrow, and as we head towards the weekend, even though the departing spots may deliver departing shots as they turn. Top earthquake of the last couple days occurred yesterday near the southern Japanese islands in the East China Sea. Luckily, it was deep and again out over the water, which minimized damage. Top science article today is a change in the nuclear stability chart. It had been believed that the numbers of protons and neutrons in an atomic nucleus were stable and didn't change with temperature. Looks like that's incorrect. It has implications for cosmological physics, nova astronomy, and what's happening inside of stars. As the twig is bent, so grows the tree, and this one should bend what we know starting back from very early and fundamental stages of the cosmos. Lastly, folks, our event is just a few days away, happening this weekend. Tickets at the link below, and we're looking forward to seeing many of you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. Links are found below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.